The Simsima. Airspeed is alive. V1 and rotate. Guys, let's get right into why you clicked on this video. Let me share with you some of the settings that I just discovered. So, it's quite a series of events. Of course, like the rest of you, I keep messing around with it until it plays better, until it looks better. So, here, let me take you through what I did. First of all, I discovered that I could play the game in 4K on the main screen. One of the cool parts about being able to divide the three screens separately, like other games, is that you can set the resolution specifically for the left and right screen to be different than the center screen. So therefore, as you can see, my center resolution is set to 4K and my side resolutions are set to 1080. Here are my options and settings. You know, of course, you can pause the video and go through it. The key thing that I want to tell you is always sh low on shadows, no ambient occlusion, and and DLSS on ultra performance. Of course, because we have 4K in front of us and it looks really, really sharp, yes, DLSS will cut back a little bit and look a little bit blurry, but to me, the trade-off is, is perfect. 4K plus DLSS ultra performance is perfect. As requested inside, the uh, safety area report went out. Cleared in the safety area. We'll report went out. Mobile 05. Here are my NVIDIA settings. Again, I'm not going to go through all of them. You can pause the screen and, you know, if you're trying to match my settings, just copy them ver verbatim. But, you know, everybody's computer is different. Every graphic card is different. So be careful. You know, your mileage might vary. Another cool thing that I discovered that people have been asking about is, do I still get distortion? And for the longest time, I'm like, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm so happy with this triple screen that I, you know, any little bit of distortion is not necessarily something that bothers me. But as you can see, I actually discovered something. You are not actually positioned properly in the seat in the plane. And considering the field of view, I think the, the camera is trying to pick up what you should see, which is the wings left and right. But if you look at it, they're actually, the wings are warped forward. It's the field of view is open way too wide. What I realize if I move myself rearward in the plane, it does change the field of view a little bit. So moving rearward and zooming in and out actually gives me a different field of view, resulting in a less warped image. I know it sounds confusing, but try what you saw me do. Gear up. Gear up and confirmed. Flaps down. Flaps up. Flaps up and confirmed. Trimming. Getting a good 27, 26. Here's a perfect example of what happens when you zoom in what you see side by side the 4k versus the 1080 quite a big difference and in real life it's, it's actually quite striking but I can't say it enough it's worth it for me so yeah here's what I see and you know, please understand, we are here talking about 4K versus 1080, filmed on a 4K GoPro, then later edited in a program that's not 4K. Again, the concept is there. You're going to have to try it for yourself. Uh, you know, it does. it's not lost here that I, I cannot control all these resolutions. I'm telling you the result is good. I really hope that it works for you. Uh, so please try it. 
So with that said, guys, I hope that this works for you. I hope that it makes the game more enjoyable, and I'll see you out there. Love you guys. Bye.